Well, I'm back again. I moved the camera a little bit, so I hope it's still in the view. Um, while I was having lunch, I drew some wings on this girl, and then I realised she's going to be too big for the paper. So I might have to trim her wings down a little bit, or chop her legs off maybe, because I want some of the background to show through. Don't want it all to be for nothing. Oh, I forgot to do something, which is turn the light on in here because it's a little bit darker. I'll be back in a sec. And I'll close the door so husband knows that I'm recording. Right. <clears throat> so, because I haven't done one of these for a while, I forgot that um, probably what I really want to do is cover this with a bit of a whitewash and then do a bit more stamping and stenciling over the top just to bring some of the colours from the background forward. Um, so I'll do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking what I need to do. I need to get some gesso and a brush because I'll use a bit, little bit of watered down gesso for this, which I might just use the reverse side of my plate to mix that up with. You look a bit far away at the moment. I thought I'd had it zoomed in. Sorry, I'm going to play with the thing again. Is that better or worse? Yeah, like I said, this is a bit of a test really, doing this one. I think that's all right. I hope it is. It seemed all right. I just um, emptied the card. Oh, <laughs> this <it> scared me. <laughs> I have a um, an email that's come through on my computer, and um, like a little message through the loudspeaker, uh, through the speakers telling me that there's a message there. You probably couldn't hear it because it's down low, but um, all of a sudden, what the heck is that noise? <laughs> Alright, so a bit of gesso, a bit of water. Nice and wet and smushy. Probably a bit too wet now. And just go over this. I like this whitewash effect. I use it a fair bit because it gives it um, it gives you a background and a foreground of the background <laughs> that makes any sense yeah I got this idea from Kelly Kelly Donovan learnt such a lot from her and her great videos If it wasn't for Kelly, there's no way I would have ever had the courage to try doing any of this art type work. I probably would have just 
stayed with my sewing and embroidery and crochet and left it at that. I always admired people that could do things like this and especially my daughter who's very creative and artistic has a lot of talent. Yeah. And now I'm really pleased that I've got the courage to have a go and enjoy doing it. Alright, so that's just given it a bit of a whitewash. I'm going to dry again. I'll probably cut this bit out. I think it's possibly a bit too pale, the whitewash. Hmm. I might leave it anyway. Um, now, yeah, I wanted to do some circles and things. So we've got in here this little treasure trove of junk. There's some circular things. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I use this. It's a woo, syringe. I use that end of that for the, for the circles. We used to have that for our cat. I'm not a druggie. <laughs> we used to have it for our cat um, to give him medicine. Ages ago. He passed away four or five years now I think. Poor Kitty. I like cats, but I think I prefer dogs. Um, right. Might bring some blue into it now. Some blue circles. Right, it's switched off. Um, so I've got purple now. I'm basically just making a mess. <laughs> a messy, messy background. about using up the paint. That'll do. Wipe it up here. Ah, oh, <laughs> this heard that uh, lorikeet out there singing. It reminded me that I noticed this morning that um, one of the bird boxes that my son made for me has the beginnings of a nest inside it now so and my husband told me earlier that he saw a female blackbird with a beak full of um, nesting stuff while he was at the washing line and he said that she waited for him to go away but he wasn't sure where she was headed but um, possibly she was going into that nesting box so that's really exciting. 
I love that um, when the birds nest in the garden and I get to watch them and watch the babies grow up. They're so cute. Quite often we've had to rescue a few of the baby birds because when they reach fledgling stage and leave the nest, it's more of a fall out of the nest situation than a fly out of the nest. <laughs> so they just go tumbling onto the ground and then they, because they can't fly yet, they, they're running around on the ground, cheeping for their parents to come and feed them. And um, when our dogs were younger, it used to be a problem if they were out there at the same time when the babies came out of the nest because um, the dogs would chase them and upset the poor babies. So quite a few times we've had to um, quickly pick them up and move them somewhere else where they were safe, away from the dogs. But um, the parents always find them. We've even moved them from the backyard into the front yard and the parents have um, always come and found them and fed them. <coughs> They're really cute. They run around on the ground for probably about a week, I'd say, before they, you know, get their wings and start to fly. Very cute. Now... I do want to do some hearts. Where have I put that stencil? Here. There were some cute little hearts on here that I wanted to do. I'm probably going to smudge those dots. So I have to quickly dry. Hopefully that's a bit better. And a bit of sponge. Hmm. Not all that great. Oh, now I've got too much. I waste too much paint. Hmm, that magenta's not um, very dark. It's a bit Translucent, I think the word is. <coughs> How many? Oh, there's three there. I thought there were more. Oh, yuck, that's just a big blob. I think I had too much paint. Let's see if I can turn that into a bigger heart. I've got a smudge tip there, just wipe that off. worked a bit better. Put a little one up here. Well, we 
the lines. Yeah, they're not all that great. A blurry, a bit smudged. And here I am wiping my hands again. <laughs> Uh, you'll see me actually, I meant to mention this blue top, you'll see me wear this a lot and I actually wear it as my painting shirt because it's got that much paint all over it already. I may as well wear it as an art smock and then it doesn't matter if I get more paint on it rather than ruining more of my clothes like I have done. All right. Now, next I was thinking I might try and go back in over these two butterflies and do them with some um, modelling paste so that they come up better because you really can't see them. Excuse me, a ah, bit of a burp. You can't see them as they are there. worried though because it's this is not very thick and um, I'm worried I might push the paste under the thing but I suppose I can just try and see how I go. If I just use a little bit. all right from this side. Don't know what it's going to look when I take the thing off. Oh, that's all right. One side's a bit thicker than the other though. But that's all right. It's a dust much to fit here and there. Might wait till that dries and try and fill in that other wing a bit better. In the meantime I'll do the bottom one. Try and match it up all right. Look my hands are dirty again. I'm the type of person where I'd, I'd probably wear gloves if they didn't feel so horrible <laughs> and you can't feel anything through them. It's pointless wearing gloves really. So you need that, um, you need to the, what's it called? You need to be able to feel through your fingertips. perfect <laughs> but not too bad just wipe away those extra bits um, I was thinking of maybe doing another something 
with the pa oh I know what I wanted to do some letters using this um, stencil let's try and clean that off a bit Jeez, I've made a mess. That's all sticky, so I'll move that. Put another piece of paper in to catch. some of this, just some little bits. I don't know if this is going to work either because it's a very small um, stencil with alphabet on it. I've used a bigger one on a, um, on a different piece and that worked out okay, wasn't it? you know, perfect or anything, but we'll see. Just give it a try and see what happens. Let's do a few letters. Probably not enough. W X Y Z. Hmm. Well, that stands up quite a lot off the page. That's all right. Now I've got a stencil full of modelling paste. I'll have to go and um, clean that in a minute. Might do a little bit over here. That's alright. And my girly should go in the middle there. Ugh. This stuff dries up really hard around the um, the rim of the jar and I have to quite often clean it off, otherwise it won't shut. Alright, I am going to go and clean this before it gets clogged up back in a mini. Okay, I'm back. Um, unfortunately, I uh, missed a bit there because while I was waiting for the modelling paste to dry, I um <clears throat> sorry, I'm just shutting the door. I started working on my girl again and then realised that the camera wasn't on. <laughs> so yeah, I missed a bit. All I've done is um 
I've shortened her wings down so they're not as high and I've started painting a dress blue so didn't really miss very much so I shall continue on with that oh, I was actually want this finer brush to do the straps on her dress just for some paper Oops. I left the brush sitting in the jar of water for a little while and um, it tends to sort of warp the brush shape which isn't very good. <coughs> um, here. I drew her in pencil over the top of gesso and then I um, I painted the sort of the flesh colour over the top of that so I can just see the pencil underneath. So it's a little bit tricky trying to see where the lines are sometimes. I don't know how much I said before the camera went off, but I mean, you know, in terms of how much was recorded, but I was just saying before that um, it's quite late, it's almost five o'clock now, and I've been working on this since ten this morning, so it's taken me a long time, but that's normal for me, I normally take a long time, sometimes two or three days on one project. <coughs> now. Let's try and straighten this up a little bit. side panel down the side of the dress which I either wanted to do darker or lighter and I'm not sure so I'll just try the dark first and if I don't think that looks good I'll swap it around camera zoomed in enough. I think I moved it a little bit when before when I got up to move. So I don't know if it's in the exact same position as before. job that little one. It's not even enough. Hey, I'm getting pretty tired now too. I think I'll probably have to stop for a while, have a rest. Probably have a nap. I do most days. And then I'm off and up till 2, 3 a.m. Crazy. Crazy sleeping pattern. <laughs> Mm. 
Uh, it varies though, really. And sometimes I sleep too much. Way too much. right I suppose. I'll go over it again and smooth it out more on another coat. Now, what colour will I do her hair and how am I going to do this? Because I don't want to paint over, well I can't, what I plan to do is um, like I've done with another girl with wings I've done before is I want to use lace for her wings but um, yeah oh excuse me if I paint over her now then I suppose her hair will be under her wings you have to do that because otherwise if I try and paint over the lace it's not going to look very good at all. It won't work. <clears throat> so I'll paint her hair and then what I'll do is I'll cut her out separately to the wing shape um, and then cut that out in lace and put that down. Somehow I'll work it out. I can't remember how I did it last time. But the, um, oh god, sorry. Um, the wings turned out really well. Yeah, and I can't remember how I cut, got them into that correct shape. Anyway, what colour hair is she going to have? Probably a pale brown. Let's give it a pale brown. Hi, I'm just showing you what I've done. I um, I thought I was recording before and it, um, I hadn't switched it on. Um, so I've been working on the girl while the um, modelling paste is drying. And um, <clears throat> I've just coloured her dress blue and started on her hair. Just done a sort of a basic undercoat of her hair. And I'll be going over the top with a darker colour. I also shortened her wings down so that she'll fit better on the page. But I'm going to stop now and have a break because I'm really tired and I need to have a nap. So I'll do that and I'll probably come back later this evening and um, work on her a bit more. Hopefully finish the page but who knows. <laughs> I might not get it done and, and I have to still have to finish it off tomorrow. Anyway, so that's how she looks so far. Ta-da for now.